Test, one, two, three, testing, testing. You are exiles. We are the exiles. We are the fallen. You made the decision to go after strange flesh. This is about one thing. This is about us being consumed by another race. Let's get them in a host body system so we can destroy them. You're a kingdom divided. You're good and evil. You are the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. To rectify that situation, you got to be turned up. It's how you know that you know Jesus. And if it doesn't add up to the scriptures, then it's not true. All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It, 4321. Christ's purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. Uh, uh, bear with me, guys. Uh, what I'm doing is I brought some other equipment out here to where I usually produce my videos. There's a lot going on. I've been trying to uh, trying to get this hieroglyph to you guys. Do you, would y'all believe that there's another force working against me to try and stop me? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's been overwhelming. Um, without getting into all the details, first I'd like to talk to you guys. Just God bless you guys. Welcome subscribers, all those people that are plugged into this ministry. God bless you. I just want to have a talk first. Let me uh, let me see if I can dial down some stuff. What you're looking at behind me, this bright light, it is a, it's an LED movie frame. Uh, you put uh posters for movies in it, and um. It was a way for me to move the hieroglyph to a location where I can talk intelligently to you about it. And I can sit here and I can point to it as an actual thing, you know, instead of just on the screen. Because when I when I present to you um, what's going on here and, and the work that's been done on this thing and the drawing and, and the idea, when y'all understand that, this is not that somebody showed me this. This is not that uh, I watched somebody's video and they had a hieroglyph on and I went, oh, wow, that's really cool. I'm going to adopt that and show it to other people. Uh, this was the Lord God communicating. This is a communication between a servant and the Lord. And I'm going to prove it to you. And I'm going to show it to you on a level that hopefully changes the way you perceive the entire world because it should. Um, so... Without too much further ado, let me just kind of show you a couple of things that are going on. Then I'm going to have a little chat with you for a sec. This is the the movie light board. Um, having a little... Okay, so there's this thing. I got one with the rheostat so I can dial it in. There we go. So I can dial in different brightnesses of it. And I can show you, hopefully, <laughs> I'm still working out some kinks. Um what's going on and how important it is to understand what all this is. These are all clear plastic layovers. So what I did was I, I put a clear plastic layover the image itself and I drew it in. So there's no faking. You can't fudge this. Whatever the lines are that are on these is simply what that is. And that thing behind me was the Egyptians, uh, the pantheon of God's nut, and those uh, that are opposed to El, the Almighty God. They are their, the opponents of El, the Almighty God. And they carved in stone the absolute facts of your existence. It's carved right there in this hieroglyph and other hieroglyphs. And it's right in front of you in churches and in different, uh, different manifestations and architecture whether or not it's you know vatican or or the football stadium for the rio olympics the whole thing was a vagina the entire football stadium and even the uh even the headlines during the rio olympics were saying oh the rio stadium looks like a giant vagina i mean you couldn't even make this first of all uh let me just touch base guys god bless you guys good to see you so what we're gonna do tonight is we're going to roll out some different things. We're just getting going on the hieroglyph. I'm going to tell you where we're at and what's happening. But let me just kind of roll into this first. Watch this. Just think about this. 
These are headlines. It's a giant vagina, exclaims world watching Olympic. Uh, you know, that <laughs> means uh, Rio Olympics. Look at this. People have noticed that the Olympic opening ceremony, it looks like a big vagina. So here are the images. See, all this stuff I'm showing you right here, that's not me, uh, you know, coming up with some, what it, I have some obsession thing. This is an, an obsession from a spiritual being that built the whole damn stadium. That's what it is. That's what this hieroglyph is. That's what the Vatican is. That's what it is when people come up and say, hey, Johnny, I drew a picture of you. Why would you draw a picture of me? That's, that's just weird. But at the same picture that someone drew of me is the same agenda as this hieroglyph, then we've really latched on to something that affects every man, woman, and child on, on the planet on what we call Earth. Okay? It's going to affect everybody. And if you don't think it affects you, well, you are you can think that. That's okay. But it doesn't change the fact that it does. It's like people saying, well, uh, Jesus will believe in Jesus or not. It doesn't have anything to do with me. You can say that, but at the end of the day, it's going to be what judges you. The truth is what judges everybody because we've all been led away and we're all living a lie. The host body system is a lie, the whole thing. And it's actually right here in this hieroglyph. So anyway, I wanted you guys just to get to see this. Just, just look at what you're looking at. Images for Rio Olympic Stadium looks like a giant vagina. I mean, come on. These are all these different, I mean, articles. Okay, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. I just wanted to make sure you understood it. Uh, you know, that you understand the simplicity that that uh, building right there is a serpent wearing a crown. We've been over that a thousand times. Let me hit the back button. Um, but so now I want to talk to you about what's behind me for a second. Okay. Okay. First, I want to wish you a, a happy holidays. For everybody, the holidays is not happy. I understand that. And I don't want to say, oh, have happy holidays. I know everyone's with their family having a great Thanksgiving meal and all that great stuff. And there's a lot of fellowship. I wish I could say that. But let's be realistic. I mean, now that if you're watching this and you're born again, you've probably been ostracized. You've probably been cut away from your family. Um, they probably don't want anything really to do with you anymore, do they? Um, I noticed that in my own life after I was converted, um, it just, uh, everybody rejected me. The world rejected me, which is the way it's supposed to go. The Bible says that the world hateth you know that it hateth me before it hated you. So I, first of all, I want to just, I want to reach out and tell you, I love you in Christ. I love you. I care about you. Um, I had to come out and do a video tonight because I could not go inside and put my head on, on a pillow and go to sleep without knowing that I've reached out to you guys. And I mean that. I've been I've been carrying this burden for the last uh, two weeks. And I've managed to get out, you know, I don't know, a handful of videos. Uh, the shorties that I'm doing with Zach where I do the narration. And I, I say, here you go, Zach. Just plug in the images from the folder, whatever comes to your mind. And Zach's been hitting the ball out of the park. But Zach has come under serious attack. Everybody that's trying to show you what this is and the people that have tried also, you know, there's people that have tried to come and show you guys more of what this is. And I believe uh, they've come in, several of them, with the right heart in mind, but it wasn't given to them. It wasn't. And I want you all to understand that what you're going to see in the next videos, this video and the upcoming videos, you have to understand, guys, this, this hieroglyph and the Vatican and, and everything I'm going to be showing you, this was given to me as per verbal instructions from the Lord God whom I serve. And I want you to see and understand that because it is tantamount that you understand that because there was an order of operations in giving it to me. He, did, he gave it to me in an order and the order is very important. Uh, so anyway, I want to share that with you and I want you guys to understand. Let me give you an example. Let's start with, let me show you the Vatican real quick so you can just understand the idea behind it. So imagine you, I'm just going to make, I want everyone to make this personal. Okay, so imagine it's you and you had been called 
The, you know, the same as my testimony, the Lord called you in the supernatural way, St. Anthony. You had to go through a door that meant you were going to probably going to die. I did die that night to myself. I was willing to die to myself and live for Christ to go out that door and know the truth. So anyway, so if you were saved in that kind of way, and then the Lord started revealing information to you after you had taken that step of faith, it's very important to understand the information and the order it was given to you. And what was that information? Well, remember the 100% nylon was the first thing the Lord had me read in that tag. Then he said, turn it upside down 100%. The word nylon becomes no line. So if you want to know the truth in the system that you're in called the earth, then you have to know Christ because Jesus is the truth. He's the spirit of all truth. So you can't know the truth without knowing Jesus. You can know some truth or kind of the truth, but here's the truth the truth within the system. The system is defined. The system is 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 made in order to reveal the truth, by the way. It's a way of revealing two halves of one equation. And when you discover this half of the equation, it proves the other half of the equation. Do you understand? By splitting it in two and putting it within a system we call the earth, when you discover down and you turn down up, you've discovered the equation. You've actually discovered I am. I exist. It's funny that uh, the name, the self-existent eternal Jehovah, the number in the Bible is 1961. I exist. 1961. When you invert a 19, upside down and backwards, what is it? 61. How crazy is that? Okay, so now here we go. Okay, first things, I want to apologize, just tell you all what's going on. Guys, I've been after this thing, but there's one crazy thing after another that has happened just to slow me down and to throw wrenches. One thing is health things. I felt like someone threw a spear in the lower left side of my back. Well, I've, I've been, a have been suffering from uh serious spine issues for years now and I'm due for a new MRI. So anyway, I thought it was just going to be a, you know, progression of my back thing, but it took a couple of turns over the past, uh, four or five days. So I had to go over and get blood drawn and uh, CAT scans and that kind of thing. And uh, they determined that, yeah, my kidneys aren't going to shut down, which is the good news. But the bad news is you're going to be living in this kind of pain for a while until uh, something happens. So anyway, that's been part of what's been slowing me down from being able to set things up, sit here, draw, bend over, videotape while I'm bent over, drawing all this stuff in. And then going to get this thing remade, this is a redo of the, the poster that I use in the Kingdom Divided. Well, in order to do this, the Lord's, the Lord's the one that instructed me, Jonathan, you need to build a light board and you need to tr uh, blow up this poster and trace over all the changes in shadow. That's what the Lord told me to do. That's why you're looking at this. It's not because I saw it somewhere. The Lord told me this is what I want you to do. So I did. Same thing with the Vatican. The Vatican, the Lord told me, go on Google Earth. And I was looking at Google Earth and I was looking at the Vatican. This is the exact thing I'm sitting there staring at. And that the whole thing was an upside down cross at the bottom of a keyhole. And can you imagine if you were sitting there and you're going like, that's just nuts. The whole building's an upside down cross. Y'all know that's the church of Satan then, right? <laughs> I mean, to invert the cross means everything against Christ. So Christ is a right side upside cross. Well, when you invert the cross, that's Satanism. So imagine you're me and you're just sitting there going like, the whole thing is an upside down cross. Look at it in red. Oh my gosh, what the hell? And you're sitting there just contemplating this going like, and then you hear the Lord say, Jonathan, put your name in there instead. I want you to come in at a 45 degree angle. I want to show you something. Now, just now here's the proof that I was hearing from God. So if I heard the Lord say that, and I just showed you, this is what I was looking at right here. And I'm up on Google Earth and the Lord tells me to come in at a 45 degree angle to the bottom of the cross. Well, there's. There's the 45 degree angle right here. And what does it become? So imagine that you just simply do what the Lord says 
and the thing turns into a serpent wearing a crown. So there's one, there it is just sitting still, resting still. So this becomes this. So the keyhole in the cross becomes that. Now just imagine that. So I need you to understand these weren't given to anybody else. They weren't given to any other. There's no other watchman. People call themselves watchmen. Oh, I'm a watchman and they're using what the Lord gave me. Do you know how ludicrous that is? Because they saw the Lord use me to break down this and they want to add what they believe is. That's ludicrous. It's just ludicrous. The Lord gave me a, a National Geographic. And when I opened it up, he said, pay attention. And I was looking at the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. And that's how this all ended up here. It's very important you all understand that. When the Lord showed me the Vatican, guys, I need I need you all to understand this. Because what I'm going to deliver is going to solidify the the meaning of life, the history of mankind who are we where we come from it, this is going to be court admissible evidence against the enemy against elohim this will be used against elohim because the truth that lives in me that's exposing all this is what the truth is what convicts the enemy so here you go so yes or no is that the head of a serpent wearing a crown right here does does this right here become the head of a serpent wearing a crown well what i told dave the wave to do is I when I heard the Lord tell me, Jonathan, you need to find the mouth of the serpent inside the building. Okay, now again, pretend you're me. So, see, the Lord's not revealing the altar to anybody else but me. And so, again, I, I'm going to defer. There's other channels that have tried to do this, and I've seen every single one of them spin out. And they've, def the, in, a, in a very uh, uh, just undermining way they've really hurt the dissemination of the information for what it is there's people that i've seen said oh look you can clearly see donald trump here no you can't you've lost your mind donald trump's not in this hieroglyph anyone that says so is a lunatic it wasn't given to them so again let me show you what i'm talking about so when the lord told me jonathan i want you to i want you to find that window right there see the mouth of the serpent I, I called Dave the wave and I said, Dave, I need help. I don't know. I need to find that window. And let me show you what Dave came back with. Dave came back with the, the mother load, the gold. St. Peter's Basilica virtual tour. So here's the same exact. Here's the cross, but it's right side up. Of course, on the website for St. Peter's uh, Basilica, do you think they're going to have the cross upside down? <laughs> probably not so anyway here it is right side up there's yeah the so then the lord told me this is the way here's the the sidewalk that makes the split tongue right here so here's the mouth so let's let's come in right there in front of the mouth so what's the mouth of the serpent now is right here so then i have to be able to discern that that's a dead sheep that's a dead sheep there's the eye there's the eye nostril nostril teeth there's an ear right there, ear there. And then I have to be able to discern what's going on here. Well, the Lord just, the Lord has to show me exactly what's going on. And it's all right. Everything you're seeing is out of the Bible. Everything you're seeing. And Elohim said, let us create man in our own image. In the image of Elohim created he am male and female. Here's where you have to have extreme supernatural gifts right here at that part at this part part in the image of elohim created he him male and female created he them so that's why this becomes the male reproductive unit there's a penis right here and when you invert the whole thing it becomes the female reproductive system so again it's very important that you understand that the lord god whom i serve had to tell me you have to find that mouth inside that building Nobody else on this thing called the earth can say, oh, well, the Lord showed me this in this hieroglyph. No, he didn't. I love you in Christ, but no, he didn't. Because all they're doing is undermining the purity of what was given to a servant. It's like laying hands on someone and someone coming along and saying, well, I know Jonathan laid hands on him, but uh, I laid hands on him too. And no, it's not the way it works. So anyway, I want to make sure it's clear because, again, I'm going to show you precisely what the Lord God's shown me. 
and anything anyone else has said is there. Uh, if you want to go follow their channel and go believe them, then go do it. But I'm here to tell you, they don't need, they didn't even know the, the basic that if you haven't inverted the world, you can't see the truth. And I'm just making a point. It's very serious stuff to be messing with stuff like this and trying to claim it as your own. You can't do it. And otherwise there's a, I've watched people literally lose their minds trying to do it. So anyway, so I, I would encourage one reason I'm talking about this, I've actually gotten letters from people and people have reached out to me in social media and they're trying to say, hey, Jonathan, you know, uh, whatever, I've done this and I've done this and I saw your stuff and now I'm a watchman because I've seen your stuff. No, you're not. I love you in Christ. Watchmen, you're not, you don't appoint yourself. The Lord God appoints you. And it's not because you saw something that God gave me. He doesn't appoint you because you're like, oh, wow, look at Jonathan. Look, he's got this hieroglyph. He's got all the information. It's not the way that works. The Lord God himself gave me the hieroglyph. The Lord God himself gave me the Vatican. And they're the exact same thing. What do you think the uh, odds are that this hieroglyph that's 1,300 years old, uh, 1,300 B.C., has a serpent eating this kid right here. I can see it right out of the gate. There's a serpent. There's the eye of the serpent. The kid's going in the mouth of the serpent. There's a dead sheep in this kid's head right here. There's also a baby reptile in the head of the kid right here. You could never even see it unless you saw the changes in shadow. Every good and perfect gift comes from above from the creator of heavenly lights, not like them who cast shifting shadows. See that race of beings called the serpent race? They do what's called the shadow arts, the shadow arts. They're masters of it. It's like, I think, uh, one of, uh, the Pyramid of the Sun, maybe down in Mexico City, maybe. Uh, one of those pyramids during the solstice, you can see the changes in shadow on the stairs. And it, it literally shows the serpent coming down, going down the stairs, like descending down the stairs. Yeah, because they were masters in the shadow arts and they had such uh, uh, acuity in their knowledge of uh, the celestial uh, events that would go on, like uh, the uh, different eclipses and those type things. They knew, they knew their calendars and they knew their heavenly events and they actually used those. I mean, that's pretty serious stuff, guys. Okay, so anyway, so now I got all that out. I just wanted to talk about that because when you run into some other channel and you come tell me, oh, Jonathan, so-and-so did a great job on your hieroglyph, I'm just going to block you because you could lead somebody to someone else's channel that is using something that doesn't even belong to them. And it's okay. Now, here's the other thing. If you've seen this, it's okay to be a witness. The Bible says, you are my witnesses, declares the Lord. You're a witness. We're all witnesses because we've been turned up. Our eyes have become single. Our whole body's full of light. We came out of the darkness into the light. Okay, so we become witnesses, but that doesn't make you a watchman. It's a whole different thing. Anyone that would want to be a watchman, you've lost your mind. <laughs> Anyone that says, oh, yeah, I want to be a watcher. It's like, uh, then you haven't had your ass whooped long enough to even consider what you're saying because it's not something uh, you'd really think to do. Jonah's a perfect example. All right. So anyway, all right. I've run into so many issues trying to get this thing to you guys. Now, I, I just want you to know I've had issues uh, producing it at, uh, at Kinko's. I've gotten it back from the guys that produced it, and it was wrong, and it was messed up. It was almost like it was sabotaged. It was sabotaged. Can I say that someone intensely sabotaged it? No, but I can say that someone was used spiritually to sabotage it. That's an accurate statement. Um, then also uh, other problems with equipment and stuff like that, trying to get this to you. So now, anyway, I've kind of blah, I got, I got all that out. I want you to understand that the hieroglyph and the Vatican are two of the most important pieces of revelation in, in the history of the world. Both of them. They're confirming witnesses to the Bible. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. They are confirming witnesses to the Bible. So the imagery in this bears witness to the words of the Bible. The fact that the Vatican is a giant snake eating a, a sheep. See, look, there's the sheep right there. See it? There's the dead sheep right there. It's a bunch of angels. See it? 
those angels are turning into semen right here. So they're they're crossing through to the other side. So they're coming into the mouth of the serpent at, through the window as light, but they're turning into semen. The Bible says in Isaiah 43, if you look at the vocabulary, when you cross through the waters, I will be with you when you pass through the waters. The word pass through means literally, this is the vocabulary, when you cross over to the other side in copulation, in the semen, I will be with you. Those exact words. I'm going to prove it to you right now. You're looking at you're looking at the exact words of the Bible right here in this image. Ready? Let me show you. Uh, again, so now I need you to understand how important this is because I'm getting ready to just lay everything on the line in the videos that are coming up. Everything I'm going to show you is it's not something I think. It's not something... I believe is true. It's something that was delivered to me via a supernatural spiritual gift by the Lord God, whom I serve, in order to warn the world, hey guys, uh, here's the reason the world's about to be destroyed. And if you don't turn from your sins, you're going to die in your sins. And when you die in your sins, what's going to happen is you're going to go to the pit and you're going to be devoured by another race of beings, a locust, when you die, and then the finality of that is it's resurrected and thrown into the lake of fire. So I'm just saying, that's what I've been called to warn everybody for. So now, I showed you an altar, and I made a claim, and I said, I'm going to show you that this altar right here, I'm going to show you that the the ability to see what this is, is the Lord God giving me a confirming witness to the Word of God. This becomes a confirming witness a confirming witness to the word of god ready okay so those are angels coming in through a window they're coming in from the outside to the inside into the mouth of the serpent and then i've shown you and i'll, I'll probably just pull it up so you guys can see it that's a penis and you turn it upside down and it's a vine, vagina and aka if it's ejaculating and it's ejaculating this seed right here, then it's a no-brainer that obviously, yeah, they're melting into semen. And if you look very closely, I'll go like this. You can see all the little heads of the angel. See the head of the angel, head of the angel, and you can see it all turns liquid. See it all. See how it all moves like liquid? And if that's a penis ejaculating a seed, which it is, then it's obvious that that would be the, the next phase. I mean, ejaculation equals semen okay so now here you go so angels are coming through they're 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 coming from the outside into the building uh if you follow it in a euphemistic obviously sex way they're coming into the system via semen okay now let's look what the bible says so here you go the Bible says, but now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and that formed thee and formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. Ready? When thou passest through. When thou passest through. Right here. See it? When thou passest through. Please read these words out loud. There's the number to prove that it's absolutely the number. Uh, 5674, it says, to cross over, used very widely of any transition, specifically to cover in copulation, also alienate. So when, listen, so when angels came into the system, and you left your first estate and you came into the system, the form of flesh. That's why there's a penis and a vagina. In the image of Elohim created he him, male, penis, and female, vagina, created he them. And you're looking at the creation right here, watch. And an altar of it. So here it is, watch. When thou passest through the waters, when thou passest through, please read these words. To cross over in any transition specifically to cover in copulation, to alienate, to bring over and through, to carry over to the other side. Okay, so to carry over, to cross over in copulation. Is that what's going on? Well, there's a 
the the chair is a penis and when you turn it over it's a vagina it's male and female this the crown is a seed ejaculating so this vocabulary is exactly exactly what this is now it, it's even more precise when thou passes through the waters i will be with thee ready semen says semen doesn't it figuratively juice euphemistically semen and if that's a penis and a vagina when you turn it upside down there it is as a confirming witness to the word of god do you understand other people saying that this this hieroglyph i mean that this altar in some way shape or form they had something to do with understanding it that's nonsense no they don't it doesn't mean that they can't look at it and go oh my gosh that's crazy oh wow it's true i see it but it doesn't become theirs to say oh and let me show you what else is here no 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 shame on you anyone for doing it no it's not the way it works see the lord specifically told me jonathan find that window go inside the vatican the snake so now it changes the whole landscape doesn't it because i see there's been plenty of channels of people out there saying that you know the lord showed them this i'm like no he didn't you saw it on my channel and now you want to put your spin on it and that's the wrong that's not gonna work so here you go so there it is see the whole thing's a dead sheep See the whole thing's a dead sheep? Now, now let's talk about that for a minute. Now, you're speaking to someone, and I have right over there on the wall the picture of Marcel where he said, Hey, Orle Jonathan, miro, yo lo hago para ti. He, he made me a picture of myself as a vampire. It's on a piece of wood right over there. I'll bring up the picture. And he put a dead sheep on top of my head, which is the same as the Vatican. He also made a serpent eating me, which is the same as the vatican it's the same as this now just stop and understand the same person now forget that it's me i'm just pretend it's someone else that it's not jonathan cleck pretend it's someone else and their name means yahweh has given whoever the person is just say you know what that person's name is yahweh has given just stop and think about that for a second so the person that just showed you the Vatican is a confirming witness to the word of God and you were able to see it. And that whoever that person is in their name means Yahweh has given. Do you think they're a false prophet or do you think they work for the Lord God himself? Well, the enemy would probably call him a false prophet for sure. Because Jesus said these words. See, I, I'm here to help the sheep that are lost. I'm not interested in and the the enemies of the lord god i'm i'm here to be as kind as i can be but when they attack and they attack all of us on different levels i'm sure if you've shown people this you've been attacked haven't you been attacked by your family members haven't you been attacked by people you show of course you have because jesus said if they hated me they'll hate you why do they hate you because you're a sheep that's awakened and you become a huge threat when you're a sheep that has awakened they are terrified of you and they do all kinds of nasty stuff they do i've seen it since i got saved it's and i'm sure you have too if you've been converted and you've tried to share this i'm sure it's come back at you hasn't it okay so anyway so there's that so then now let me establish more of a record real quick so let's do the uh let's let's do this let's make a record so yes or no is that a sheep so uh for any of you guys that are you know want to type a comment is that a sheep it's a yes or no answer just yes or no jonathan the altar is a sheep so here's an actual face of a sheep there's the sheep um here's the olymp here i'm sorry here's the um here's the altar so yes or no is that is that a dead sheep okay so we'll just maybe slide that into here and we'll go like that so is that whole thing a, a sheep sure it is okay now let's establish that it's a confirming witness now okay now i don't know if you understand what you're about to get to see a confirming witness that the Bible's 100% true 
by taking an altar that's in a building that's in the shape of a snake called the Vatican and taking that building and matching that idol to the word of God, where the word of God says, when you cross through to the other side, talking to his people, angels that got exiled from heaven, when you cross through to the other side in copulation in the semen, I will be with you. Um, one word is copulation. So let's make sure that's not a word everybody knows. Copulation, the act of engaging in sexual intercourse. So I want you to read it yourself. Yes or no? So. Copulation. 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 Sexual intercourse, a more scientific way of saying sexual intercourse. So then, yes or no, once I show you the simplicity of it, the Lord told me I had to get a view that was higher up. I remember I was like, wow. And the Lord told me you have to look down on it, Jonathan. So again, now here comes the Lord communicating to me, which other people that say, hey, this is what I found in this hieroglyph. I don't care what they think they found. It doesn't matter. It's they. It's it's a wrong thing to be doing. So if anyone's doing this, I, I encourage you to stop. So anyway, so if you look from above, you can see that the chair is a penis, and they actually have these candles right here, and that they they go in this vesica, and you can see that the the crown is coming out of the center. It's got these little legs on it holding it up right here. See it and the hands of the angels, but you see the white right there? Those are actual candles, and the crown is coming out of the opening at the tip of the penis. See it right there? I mean, look at that. Look at what you're looking at. See it? There's the opening. Because, see, you can't really tell, unless you look from above, that the chair is very 3D. It goes back a little bit. But you have to look from above, and I spent quite a bit of time uh, looking at Google Images until I found the one. Lord showed me there it is. And so again, I was spirit led. The Lord gave it to me. I didn't, I'm not some super smart guy. Oh yeah. No, no, no. The Lord showed me, Jonathan, coming at a 45 degree angle. I want to show you something. And I was like, okay. And I'm looking at the Vatican. It's a cross. It's upside down representing the rejection of Christ and everything that's Jesus. That's what an upside down cross represents. Then the mouth of the the mouth of the serpent, which is the very tip of the cross, it becomes a vagina and a penis. So female vagina, male penis. The penis is right side up, the chair. But you have to turn the whole thing upside down and it becomes the female reproductive system. Now, this is so important in understanding this. So now you have a penis ejaculating and it's easy to see, oh, wow, the angels are melting into semen. That's exactly what the Bible says. When you cross through to the other side, I will be with you when you cross over in copulation. But now let's turn the whole thing upside down. So let's just take the female reproductive system right here and we'll slide it right over on this exact image. I'm just going to turn this upside down. So here we go. Ready? There it is. So that's exactly the female reproductive system. And now I'll just enlarge this. Ovary, fallopian tube, ovary, fallopian tube, uterus, cervix, clitoris, the crown, clitoris. See it? That is the seed being ejaculated from the male penis, but it also serves as a clitoris in the female anatomy and the opening to the vagina. And then that all becomes, all the angels become pubic hair. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. And so there it is. And there's, there's the, now there is, again, a confirming witness to the Bible. You must understand a confirming witness. So the Lord's using me to underco under, undercover to show you what the serpent race is hidden right in front of your face. They hid it in plain sight right in front of you. And they got people in a church thinking they're worshiping God, but they tricked them into being into a, a building that's a serpent. And they're worshiping in front of an idol, a dead sheep making fun of them. Now, don't forget, the male is right side up. The male is right side up, 
and the female is upside down. Male energy comes from heaven. Female energy comes from the pit. Hell hath enlarged herself beyond measure. Our Father who art in heaven. Hell is never re referred to as him. It's her. Okay, so now you can see how important it is that you understand. Like, when you know, when you understand this, her feet go down to hell. So, the female mother goddess in, in the host body system that was created through parthenogenesis, through the female energy that started the, the human host body system, that energy, twin female, created a system that would make anyone that comes into it have your own evil twin. So if you come into it, a Jonathan had his own evil twin because it's a twin system. Do you get it? So now I have my own demon that's attached to the pit, to a, a locust that's feeding on me wherever I go. That's why the Bible says, I'll restore to you the years the locust is eating. Well, since that's her system... Why wouldn't she have a locust right here on the base of the canopy? The word canopy in the Bible in Ezekiel 28 means host body covering flesh. So these four posts right here, one has the dragon. Uh, well, they all have the same image, but this one shows the dragon with its mouth wide open. There's the red eye. There's the red eye right there. There's the open mouth of the dragon, the horn, the horn. Okay, over here, I just showed you a different way of perceiving it. It's a locust because, see, the dragon is Satan, is the serpent, the, is the one from the pit that's birthing all the locusts that are coming out of the pit. Now, some people have asked me and said, well, Jonathan, do, do the locusts only come out, um, you know, when the, when the pit opens? Well, in a supernatural way, in Revelation 9, when the, there's an earthquake and the pit opens up and out of the smoke come locusts upon the earth, that's when the earth hatches and there's a dimensional trough and they can just flow out. And it's going to be a supernatural being. It's not going to be like anything anyone's able to deal with. But the, the idea of the spiritual beings, the locusts from the pit, they're coming out all the time, guys, in taking over host body systems. For example, let's say there's a guy that wants to get a record contract. Well, he's one up, one down. And they say, hey, you know what? We'll give you the contract. And they tell him, swear allegiance to Satan. Swear allegiance to Satan and we'll give it to you. So they tell him to renounce the Holy Spirit. And they do it. Then they've invited that locust from the pit to kick out anything that's up. They're sealed now down. And they're sealed till the, that the moment they die, just like Bob Dylan, just like Katy Perry. So if you sell out, you become a double downer and you're done. You're going to go to the pit forever and ever and you're going to burn forever and ever. That's it. So there's double downers and they are basically a locust from the pit walking around in a host body system avatar, basically an avatar of that because it's a spiritual being. Do you understand? So there's locusts in the pit. There's angels in heaven. Why do you think the altar in the Vatican is, in, is a guy in a slave collar and you turn it upside down, it's a locust? Because that's the system. They get the angel in the host body and then they transmute you to a locust from the pit. And But it's just an evil being is what it is inside a host body. And they're just evil people. They've been around forever. You meet them every day. And so... But there's going to be an earthquake where the ri earth rips open and they're going to come up and they're going to take over. Well, when I say take over, they're going to sting men. Men will seek death and will not find it. They'll desire to die and death will flee from them because that's an attack from the pit. I don't know. Does that last like it says um, they'll torment men for five months. Does that mean they're out stinging men for five months? I have no idea. Anyone that says they know, I don't know that I'd believe them because I've never seen anyone that could prove that there's actually locusts from the pit, except the Lord God let me show it to you right here. There's a locust from the pit. See, that's what the mother goddess system's breeding. That's why it's on the canopy because the human host body is a shell that produces locusts from the pit. There it is. And here's the dragon. And then also this becomes the queen of heaven. There is the eye, the eye and the mouth. And she's wearing a bonnet. That's a dragon. So there it is. And so, again, I need y'all to understand, this is a confirming witness, again, to the Word of God. So, the, the Lord's using me to show you, hey, guys, y'all know those locusts that are talked about in Revelation 9? They're real. 
They're real. You know how? Because my servant Jonathan drew it in, or the Lord drew it in through me. That's a better way of doing it. I didn't draw it in. The Lord used me to draw it in. So see, when the Lord draws something in and you try and say, oh, well, look, uh, I saw this that Jonathan Cluck has, and now I'm going to show you what's really in it. You've lost your mind. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, it's going to, yeah, I can understand the excitement. But also, once you start wading into that, if you're not totally grounded, if it wasn't given to you, it's not going to go well. Okay, so then again, now you would understand why in the world would there be a, a DeAntred video where Lady Gaga bursts a locust during the video? I mean, why? I mean, why would there be a, a video where Lady Gaga bursts a locust? Well, what's going on in the Vatican? Birthing a locust. Do you know what Gaga means? 7171, G-A-G-A, -G -A, 7171. It's a, a biting insect. That's what it is. In the, if you look up strong 7171, it says a nipping, biting insect, death by extirpation, like to exterminate by strangulation. So your whole life, you're being strangled out by a locust from the pit, your whole life, through sin. Slipknot, remember the band? Anyway, so there you go. So again, a confirming witness. And that's how you know that the person that the Lord God delivered it to is the one that should be, you should be listening to when it comes to theology, not someone else that appropriated what the Lord God gave to me. And then there, they shouldn't be out, you know, spreading their theology because it wasn't given to them. Understand? Okay, so here we go again. Ready? Ready? So, why is this girl casting the shadow of an insect? Well, come out of her, my people. Come out of who? Her, the mother goddess system, the whole earth, your host body, because she's the one that birthed it. The mother goddess twin female energy is responsible for the body that you're in. And here is the proof from an aerial view that the Vatican is, is a snake wearing a crown. There is its its tongue, serpent tongue right there. And there's audience hall. And the audience hall is also a green serpent birthing right out of this serpent. And there is Castel de San Angelo. And the whole thing's a mausoleum of a dead sheep that's inside of a five-pointed star. I don't know. Do you understand what I just showed you right there? Do you all understand the gravity of this? <laughs> Do you all understand how serious this is? This is the alien movie on steroids, but it's real. What makes it so scary is it's not even under, it's not really visible. It's You can't see it. So it's like the Alien Covenant movie, but it's hidden in plain sight. That's horrifying, you guys. That's terrifying. Okay, so now let's get back to it. Uh, I'm going to show you another poster I have over here that's very important. That's part of this thing. Uh, there's this guy, Kahinde Wiley. He's right over here. He did the Obama Posters, um, let me ask you a question. Why would uh why would a president of the United States have a poster of him done by Kahinde? Why well, first of all, Kahinde, he's you know, and I don't have again, I don't have anything against anyone if they're gay. I mean, I know people that are gay and when I see them, I go give them a hug and I ask them how they're doing. How have you been doing? It, I mean, I don't care if you're gay, it's just it's something that in the Bible, uh, homosexuality is a sin against God. So is fornication. So is adultery. So is lying. Those are all sins against God. It's just another form. That's all. And so doesn't mean I won't hug someone if, uh, you know, they've done something wrong. Who cares? They're a person too. So anyway, I just want to make the point. But this guy right here, Keen Day Wiley, he did the portraits of the Obamas and if you just simply look, I mean, I mean, it's so easy for me to see it now, but there's, here's the serpent right behind his head. There's the eye of the serpent. There's the eye of the serpent coming down to the nose, to the nose. You can, you can see the fang. You can see the fang right here. See the fang right there? There's the white fang. See it? There's the tip of the fang, but it makes a little squiggly. It's a sperm. And then there's another smaller sperm being eaten by a serpent coming the opposite direction and the Lord allows me to see that. Now, here's the other thing. Can you imagine you again? I'm going to put it all on you. Can you imagine that the Lord told you, Jonathan, I want you to blow up the presidential portrait 
and I want you to draw it in. Can you imagine? <laughs> what would you think? Drawing what? Well, it's one of the weirdest presidential portraits of all time. It doesn't look anything like any other presidential portraits. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Do you believe that that right there is a pretty good bubble drawing of a T-Rex? I think what's interesting in this one is, yeah, the... Um, let me see if I can show you on a black background. You can see on a black background. Let's see, there's kind of a wavy light thing going on here. Let's see. Let's see. There you go. Do you guys see the teeth are white? Okay, now y'all see that? That's a pretty darn good T-Rex with its mouth open. You see it? Okay, so now imagine, again, you're me. The Lord has already told you, Jonathan, I want you to come in at a, four, I want you to go on Google Earth, look at the Vatican, then I want you to come in at a 45 degree angle. And the whole thing's a snake wearing a crown. Then you hear the Lord say, I need you to find the mouth inside the building. Okay, see, this information doesn't belong to anyone but the person speaking to you. The Lord God gave it to me to deliver to the world. Um, so now... He had me do the same thing with the Vatican, with the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti, as well as this thing of Barack Obama. Can you guys not see the obviousness of a serpent right here? Can you see the eye of the serpent right here and the eye of the serpent coming down right here? There's the fang of the serpent. I mean, I, we're going to look at all this on computer, but just from that viewpoint that y'all are looking can't you see that these even become antenna? That's an antenna like a bug. He's got an antenna here, an antenna here. And he also has mandibles. There's mandibles right here and right here on his jaw. So he becomes a human with mandibles like a bug. Why in the world would Barack Obama have mandibles? Why would there be a T-Rex? So... If there's not a T-Rex, how was I able to draw in a perfect T-Rex on the side of Barack Obama's head? How is that even possible? So again, all these things have been meticulously drawn in for you in order to make a case for the world to understand that person that's on that hieroglyph, he certainly looks like the leader of this race of beings in the flesh. Because the race of beings we're talking about is a spiritual thing. This is all spiritual. But the spiritual world manifests into the physical realm. You understand? Therefore, Jesus was the incarnation of El, the Almighty God. So that would make him the incarnation of who? Elohim, right? Elohim said, let us create man in our own image. And they're the antithesis. And woe unto them who go to great depths to hide their plans from the Lord. And their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us? Who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. So now again, I just want to make the point that you understand. And if you just look right here, you can, you can see the whole head of the serpent now that I've shown it to you, can't you? You can see... I mean, I haven't touched this image right here. You can see that's a fang from a serpent, can't you? You can see that this is the outline of the head of a serpent. You can probably see the T-Rex if I give you the eye and the eyebrow. You come down to the nose, the open mouth, bottom jaw right here. And I mean, the Lord allows me to see these things and to share them with you. But now it's time to understand and put all these things together in a way that's just so intelligent that goes with scripture that no one can deny what it is. The Vatican is a serpent wearing a crown. This hieroglyph of Akhenaten in Nefertiti is a serpent eating its own children, she, the sheep and the head of the kid. So there's a serpent consciousness that's destroying or consuming or burning because here's a guy trapped in hell burning with 
Akhenaten with his feet on the door, and here's a spiritual being that's on fire, which represents what happens to you. You're burned as fuel. So how is it possible that I'm able to show you all these things that all intersect and they're all exactly confirming witnesses to the Bible? Okay, now, I'm going to take a little breath and I'm going to play the last video that we posted that Zach played, that, that Zach stitched together. Now, I'll do an audio and I'll give it to Zach and I'll say, Zach, um, the only thing I'd really like to see in here at like this point right here is the tying together of the Alien Covenant movie where the little creature comes out and goes, eh! you know, the xenomorph, the reptilian xenomorph thing. It bursts out of the guy's chest and it goes like this because David that took over the ship and he used, he, you know, he ends up using all the people to birth a xenomorph right out of their body. What happens to us? Well, our bodies are used to birth the locusts from the pit. What's the difference? Is there a difference? Now, I'm going to ask you again, is there a difference? So the Bible says in Job 25, what is man that uh, a worm and how can man that a man born of a woman be clean in the eyes of God and man that is a worm? Because see, we're attached. A man is really a worm. It's attached to a worm in the pit. So if you got a host body, you're basically a worm. Because you got a worm attached to one side of you. And the connection that runs that is a demon. So the demon is the connection. It's a spiritual being. The demon is like the, the internet connection to the pit, to your worm. And then the spirit of God goes goes to heaven. God sees through, both, through one of your eyes. The demon through, sees through the other. So you have an angel and a demon. You have light and dark, good and evil. You are the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Do you see how perfect this is? Okay, but when you reject Satan and you say, I reject Satan and I will reject the works of darkness and you are able to turn the world upside down and see the truth, make your confession to God, then you get turned up and you become a double up. And that's where the enemy really hates you. And that means you're sealed until the day of redemption with God. You have like an earnest money contract. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but I'm going to show you in the Bible. It actually says that you have your earnest, like earnest money already given to the deal because when you get the Holy Spirit, that is your down payment guarantee of your eternal life and your guarantee to be a joint heir with Jesus Christ. Do you know how serious that is? Do you know how wonderful? Do you know how unbelievable? Do you know what a blessing? Do you know what getting to see this all is? Do you understand this is the most valuable information in the history of the world that you could see with your own eyes that the Lord God made available through some guy named Yahweh is given and he's Yahweh and Yahweh is giving through some guy by giving him a hieroglyph that's identical to the Vatican and it all ties in together with the entire system. No matter where you go, you can see this hieroglyph and the manifestation of it throughout all of society. Can you imagine? That's true. It's all true. The whole ministry, that's what it is. And he's brought, he sent me with the word. The Lord trained me up from 2002 to 2007 in the word. I wasn't taught the word by any man. No man taught me the word. The Lord God taught me the word. He taught me how to read the word, translating it as I read it in Hebrew and in Greek. That's how I was able to discern these things. Okay, so now here we go. All glory to God, by the way. Here we go. Ready? So now. I'd like to give you a really easy example to see it, Cain and Abel. So I wrote Abel on the dead sheep. See the sheep that's stuffed inside the mouth of the raptor? All I did was color it in, make it a little easier for you guys to see it. That's a tattoo that was on a guy's leg, but it was the other way around. And I'm like, hey, he's the raptor is eating a dead sheep. Well, that's crazy. That's what, that's what's in the hieroglyph. The same exact thing is in this hieroglyph, the exact same thing. And the head of the kid is a dead sheep. And then there is a reptile that's benefiting from the death of the sheep inside the head of the kid. So anyway, so now let me show you the 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 getting converted thing. Ready? I'm going to show you. Uh, okay, up. And then I'll take that up and I'll turn it upside down. Okay, now let me try it. 
Okay, I want to make sure I have uh, little arrows. Now, watch this. So I have one up and one down. They won't go together. They won't go together. So they will not go together. There's a force. But if you flip one, then they're sealed together. And so imagine that's what's going on inside of your body, but there's a middle wall of partition between the two, and the two won't go together. And you make your confession. You say, Lord, I want to serve you. I want to surrender myself as a living sacrifice. And you want to serve God just like these Satanists want to serve Satan so they get music contracts or whatever they get. You're going to do the opposite. You're going to say, I want to serve you, Lord. And you're going to reject Satan and reject the works of darkness. And you're going to kick him out. And you're going to say, I invite Jesus Christ to take over my whole temple. And ready. And then he's going to invert you. Sorry. Then he's going to, sorry. It's kind of hard to hold on to you. Then he's going to invert you. And the two are going to become one. And you're going to be whole in Christ. And then you're sealed. Let me show you, Revel let me show you um, Ephesians 1 real quick. Okay, so very quickly, y'all know what an adoption means. If you get adopted, it means you had a different set of parents, different parents. Well, if you're an angel and you cross through to the other side during copulation in the semen, and then all of a sudden you're no longer a spiritual angel being anymore, you're a spiritual angel be being trapped in a host body with a demon. Wow, but now watch. So then that means you got to be adopted because who became your daddy when you got your flesh? Well, who runs the flesh? Satan. So Satan became your dad. Now watch. Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he has made us accepted. He has made us accepted. It means grace, blessed and highly favored. See it? And in the beloved, and then look at look at what it says right here. In whom we have redemption. It says ransom in full. That is figuratively riddance. When you get converted, you get rid of the demon part because you get severed. You sever that demon from you. So you cut the line of the pit. The two become one. You're, you're a spiritual being rebirthed into a unified spirit, the Holy Spirit, not a superhuman angel demon. That's what's running you before you get saved. And it's I've shown you in, um, in Ephesians 2, it proves it. Okay, here we go. You have redemption. It says, figuratively riddance by ransom in full. Look, something loose in redemption and atonement. And it says to unloose, to unloose, and to break up, to break, to cut asunder by separation of the parts. See it right there? So you separate the, the angel and the demon. You separate them, and then you, the two become one. The resurrection happens inside of you. So Christ stands up in you, and the two become one. And you are sealed until the day of redemption. Now watch this. Because it says, In whom ye also trusted after ye heard the word of truth and the gospel of your salvation, whom also after ye believed you were sealed. Look at the word sealed. To stamp for security or preservation. Um, to set up, to seal up by putting a signet on, a stamp of genuineness. So you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance. Look at the word earnest. Do you all know what earnest means? A pledge that is part of the purchase money or the property given in advance as security for the rest, the earnest money. See, so your, your Holy Spirit conversion, that's your earnest money. It's guaranteed you've got it. You would have to really go against God in an open way publicly and, you know, thereby crucifying him again. And some people I've seen that, you know, look like maybe they had gotten converted. Um, their actions prove they didn't. 
Uh, if you read Matthew 13, the story of the seed, some people receive the kingdom with joy and they're like, oh my God, they're so happy. And they're like, but then they get bullied and beat up on and the world comes up against them, just like it says in Matthew 13. And then because of the cares of this world, it doesn't happen. It becomes unfruitful. So yeah, that's why it says make your election sure. Okay, so now, now let me just, okay, now. Do y'all understand that to have an altar that shows angels crossing through to the other side during copulation, because there's a penis and a vagina and there's semen going down the altar, during copulation in the semen, to be able to show you those exact words manifested in the mouth of a serpent, you know that that's that's not something anyone else can take that altar and show you. Do you understand that? And so uh, I would encourage anyone that's going to any other channel where they're showing you that to leave there immediately. You don't, you, they shouldn't be doing that. Um, I've seen people that have done it and they apologized for it. And I'm like, good for you. Good. Because some people have done it and they realize it was way over their head and they weren't spiritually equipped for it. And it kicked the crap out of them. And the, but they apologize and they moved on, which is good. But then there's those people that have stuck with it and they won't stop. It's like, okay, well, yeah, that's it. Okay, so here we go. We've gotten our earnest money and we're sealed into the day of redemption. And we're in this 2X system. And what it is, is you take an angel, you put it in the beast system. That's why the slave collar is the beast right there. There's that represents you. That's why they put little horns on you because you're you become the devil. The flesh is the devil. It's the the it's the the host body of the devil, I should say. And then when you turn that guy upside down right here, what does he come become? He becomes a locust coming out of the pit. There's the eye eye mandibles. Okay, so now anyway, so now I'm going to put this hieroglyph together for you guys again in the next couple days. I'm Like I said, I've had a lot of attacks. Lots. Trying to stop. Do you know why? It's a confirming witness. This is not some show and tell thing, guys. This is the Lord God telling a servant, I want you to take that, blow it up into a poster, build a light board. Who does that? Who would do that? I just ordered this one, this temporary one, because I had to have a way to bring the light board out here. Uh, where the, the big one that I built to originally do this, I have it in a little hallway and it's so cramped. It, it might be very difficult, but now I can take this thing and I can put it up anywhere and show everybody the mystery of human existence is right there in that hieroglyph. But who wrote the first five books of the Bible? Moses. You don't think Moses knew? That the ones that were hiding this stuff? Mm-hmm. Of course. So there it is. Fascinating. Okay, so now, the things that I'm going to be cranking out, I want you guys to consider just what you're looking at when you look at this. Just consider it, what it is, and how serious it really is. Because, see, now the end of the world is here. And now that the end of the world is here, there's going to be all these people going, oh, I can't believe God would do this to us. Well, wait a minute. See, we're here because we're exiles. And if you know your identity, then you know you're here because you're in trouble, not because it's a wonderful thing. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm. this is like an intermediate. Either I turn back to the Lord God and I have free will. So I can either choose to say I'm sorry and turn back or you can ride out your host body till the end and the one that owns your host body that's attached to the pit, then he gets the essence that's inside of your host body, which is your soul. Um, so I would encourage everyone to turn back with their whole heart. Guys, this is, yeah, it's been overwhelming for me to try and get all this. Again, mentally, it's overwhelming because it's true. It's It's the Alien Covenant movie for real. It's real. See, there is a worm that's eating you and you don't get to see it till the second you die. And when you die and you're there 
and you're consumed by it, that's it. There's no coming back. So there's no crossing to the other side. The Bible says, Jesus said these, were, these words, it's better to be, uh, if you have an eye that offends you, the word offend, the, if you have an eye that offends you, the word offends means to turn upside down like a bent sapling stick, trap stick, bent sapling. So if you have an eye that turns you upside down, pluck it out. It's better to enter the kingdom of heaven with one eye than to be cast into the pit where the worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. Now, if those are Jesus's words about the worm, shouldn't you believe it? Well, isn't it crazy? I can show you the worm thing in all these different venues, whether or not it's Michelangelo carving a bust at the Medici castle, or whether or not it's the top of the whole Sistine Chapel is a worm with its mouth open. I've shown it to you. So now this stuff has become real. I'm trying to make it totally real and tangible for you. Okay, because now I'm gonna I'm gonna get this thing back out in front of everybody and I'm gonna show you the night I got saved, the Lord told me what was the second thing he told me. The pyramid is your enemy. The pyramid is your enemy. It's the enemy of the Lord God. And it represents that race of beings from the pit that's here to destroy all the sheep. See, the serpent destroys the sheep over and over and over again. And their art is murder. Okay, let's watch that short little thing from Zach. Now think about this. The one that, when I say from Zach, the one that Zach and I did worked on together, Zach's, Zach's doing all this super awesome transition. Uh, he's putting in some just amazing uh, just connections with with the imagery for you guys i mean the 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 connections are mind boggling that how how zach just puts them in and it just flows for you guys because i already see it i already know what it all is but to watch zach put it together for you guys i was like dude really good but also zach doesn't want to claim any of it like you know he's also very you know it's not something he's like going to start saying well oh i think this is here or we should look at this or that it's just like, no, it's already all here. Let's just put it together. Okay. All right. Let's watch that real quick because it's phenomenal. And if you understand the whole locust thing, it's a mind blower. Okay. So we may have had a major glitch. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens here. So let me just see what's going on and see if this is going to work. <laughs> Okay, so hang on, guys. Just let me see if this is going to work. Um, there should be the shorty. Uh-oh, here we go. Looks like we have a little bit. Of, here we go. Watch this. So most people know what a beaver is. You can take a baby beaver. You can take it home to your house. And that baby beaver will build a dam it is instinctual it is woven into their dna to build a dam so the serpent race is woven into the fabric of the race itself that they manifest themselves they manifest themselves which is okay I want energy which is female i want to pause it for just one second i want you guys to think about remember the vatican and audience hall are both they're both snakes they're both serpents and so the twin female system to think of two serpents audience hall in the vatican twin female energy okay so just remember that when you're looking at stuff during this video when you see like marina abramovic and you see the twin female stuff everywhere this is a representation of the serpent system it's a female in her reflection, right side up, upside down, twin female. And that's the serpent race. And they're hiding behind a mask, which is just flesh. Okay, so let's, let's try it again, just real quick. The serpent race is woven into the fabric of the race itself that they manifest themselves. They manifest themselves, which is the 2X energy, which is female 
mastership, if you will, but they're woven into the arc. I want to, I want to show you that too. Now watch Luke. So female mastership. So here's Ozzy Osbourne, Ozzy Osbourne, the ultimate sin, because see the ultimate sin against God was you were, you, we were committing treason by wanting to go for the female thing. The female is the ultimate weapon against God. That's why the, the time of trouble means the time of the female rival. So here's the female rival of God, a spiritual being. But look at what she's commanding. The locust from the pit. Ozzy, see, Ozzy knows he's a locust from the pit. That's his ultimate end, is a locust from the pit. And here it is, Ozzy Osbourne, the ultimate sin. Here's his dominatrix, and there's Ozzy as the locust. Mastership, if you will. But they're woven into the architecture. The Vatican is a snake. They built it to represent themselves. They do it in clothing. They do it in logos. It manifests all around you all the time. And there's this big statue that's called the Statue of Liberty. And most people have no idea that the Statue of Liberty is simply a manifestation of the serpent race, mocking the angels, standing on top of this 11-pointed star called a hendecagram. In Jewish Kabbalistic cosmology, a hendecagram is called the kelepot, which means the shell, the peel, the husk, your host body, your shell that you're in. And the hendecagram is a geometric figure. It's an 11-pointed star, but it represents the life cycle of an angel that's being transmuted to something else. Just like a, a worm turns into a butterfly, there's a process of metamorphosis that has to occur. So the, the Statue of Liberty represents the liberty the angels took to take on a host body. That's why she's standing on top of the shell because she, the female energy, rules over the shell she's standing on, which is 11-pointed star, the kelepot, the shell, the peel, the husk, your host body. She's standing on top of that 11-pointed star, which represents the shell the angel is in and is being transmuted by twin female energy. So it's a twin system. At the top of the hendecagram are two triangles. Each one goes in opposite directions. And they meet together at the bottom where the two become one. That's really where the two energies make the cycle. And down at the bottom, the two are fused into one. Therefore, uh, amalgamating the transmutation of the, the angel in the, into the two have become one. When the angel dies, when you die in your host body, you go to the pit. And in Revelation 9, the locusts is the shapes of the locusts. It says to assimilate. So you are assimilated into a race of locusts and Satan is the king of the locusts from the pit. That's why you see the king of the locusts of the pit is the altar in the Vatican, which is the giant bug harvesting semen. But you're transmuted. Every angel is transmuted into a locust from the pit. You know why? Because the angel didn't know he was in a war from the day he was birthed into the system. Ready for round two? I didn't know this was a fight. That's why you're losing. He's birthed into the system. He thinks, oh, wow, you grow up a little bit. You have some fun, I guess, through your parochial school and high school. You go to college you're where you're trying to figure out how you're going to make money and take care of yourself and then marry and have kids and take care of them and then die. That's, that's what the world's all about? No, that's what her system is all about. Her system. They need angels in the system in order to kill them to open up the pit. The goal is to use the energy from the angels to get the eternal abyss open. So when that abyss opens in Revelation 9, out come the locusts. So the locusts that the female energy has been producing since the beginning of the world, they've been killing angels through the host body, sending that angel to the pit to be transmuted into a locust. And then that pit's going to open up and then they're all going to come out of the pit. The Bible says they'll sting men, men will seek death and will not find it. They'll desire to die and death will flee from them. So 
the whole thing is a big horror movie on steroids that you were never able to see. Think about that. At least in the alien movies like Alien Covenant and all these horror movies that in some way, shape, or form actually intersect our, our world we live in. See, I'm going to pause it right here. Now, do you understand that what you're about to see is real? So, see, if Jonathan Kleck wouldn't have gotten converted and I'm um, walking around, I would have died in this position, one eye up, one eye down. As soon as I died, my body would hit the ground and my essence would go straight to the pit, to the locust that has hold on me. And what you're seeing, this system, Nut, the mother goddess that... Remember Arnold Schwarzenegger, go on, put your arms in the air, get down on the ground, give me five push-ups, five. He puts them on the ground, just like in Nut. Then he goes like this, like the one taking his soul. And then it has, you know, Nut is the mother goddess that makes the system right side up, upside down. And that's it. I mean, and they, they manifest it. Look, this is it. Look at what you're looking at. Watch. And I mean, those movies have some truth in them, a lot of truth in them, but you're able to see the enemy in those movies. <laughs> like, you know what's horrifying is this actually looks like a male penis. I mean, think about it. And it's true, though. There's all this truth to this. Now, look at David right here. Watch. Look right here. In this world, you can't even. So he shows him how to do it. And see your enemy. And it is horrifying. So he has the the xenomorph, the serpent being, the serpent being, and there it is. Like, I mean, do you understand what you're looking at? But it's undercover, and the only way to see it is to invert the world, and you'll see the monster. Turn the world upside down, you'll see the evil witch behind everything. You'll see the, the female energy come out of her, my people. See, in Babylon... Go read Jeremiah 51. She was a golden cup in the Lord's hand. And all the world, the nations have drunk from the wine of her fornication. And they have become mad. The whole world's losing its mind right now. Are you watching? Okay. The reason behind, right here behind me, is the reason why. Right there. Right there. That was the trap. The host body system was the trap. Elohim said, let us create man in our Salem image, vain show, illusion, representative figure, especially an idol. It's, it's really a worm feeding off you. You think your host body is you? You're nuts. It's a shell. What's, what's living in the shell, the consciousness is angel and a demon. You got to kick the demon out. You got to sever the relationship. And just turn back to Christ with your whole heart, you see. So this stuff right here that I'm trying to show you, and I'm trying to establish that you understand that one person needed to be the curator and the one that was the steward of this information, not, you know, 10 other people saying, oh, I got this hieroglyph. No, you didn't. No, you did not. No one, no, oh, uh, the Vatican's a snake. Yes, you're welcome. The Lord showed it to me. He told me to go on Google Earth and come in at a 45 degree angle. So anyone else that's pontificating that in some way, shape or form, you know, they have some wonderful insight. No, no, it's not the way it works. He would have given it to you then. You understand? And then there's people, oh, well, someone can come in and do it. Click. No, that's not the way it works. See, people tell me this stuff, but I'm like, well, wait a minute. Do you understand he's had me lay hands on people that are blind and they see? He's had me lay people lay hands on people that have terminal diseases and they're well, incurable diseases and they're well, because he wanted to make sure that the information that bears witness to the identical agenda, which is serpents killing sheep, that the same person Yahweh, Yahweh is given that, that that person, whoever it was, he had all the goods on the same exact agenda. Why do you think people come up and draw pictures of me and the same picture they drew of me is the agenda of a hieroglyph that's 1,300 BC? Do you understand how crazy that is? Okay. So anyway, okay, I, I don't want to keep you guys here all night. I uh, I love you guys in Christ. I just wanted to make sure I, I couldn't go to bed tonight and not check in. I am working on this. I have been up against one thing after another. And I just honestly, I got my ass kicked for like the last seven days pretty badly. And uh, I just, like, I finally had to do CAT scan, blood work, kind of that kind of stuff, and rule some stuff out, which the good news is it, it got ruled out. 
Uh, but the other news is I'm still getting my ass kicked while I'm trying to deliver all this. It's not the easiest thing to do. Okay. All right. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. And again, I, I want to make sure that y'all understand I love you guys in Christ. And I don't want anyone falling for someone that took a lot of the stuff that the Lord gave me and they, they go put it on different channels. I've had friends of mine that had it on their channels and I told them to take it off. I'm like, do not put my stuff on your channel um, because they were having, you know, interviews with Kat Kerr and other people uh, that are just ludicrously not Holy Spirit people. They, they, they have just ludicrous nonsense that comes out of their mouth. And my information, my videos were on some of these channels. And I said, would you please take my stuff off of your channel? Because someone's going to see my stuff. And then they're going to believe that Kat Kerr's stuff is, oh, she's legit. No, she's not. She's a lunatic. I love you guys in Christ. And I love Kat Kerr in Christ. But no, Kat Kerr does not preach the truth. I'm sorry. I owe it to you to tell you the truth. And there's other, I've seen this stuff over and over again, so I have to address it. Anyone that wants to write me a letter and tell me that they've decided to be a watchman or that stuff, <laughs> it's like, okay, go ahead. Good luck with that. Anyway, and I love you in Christ, and I mean that, but that's not the way things work. What you do is you go learn the Bible with the Lord. You ask the Lord to teach you the word. Let the word fill you up. Then, that the Lord decides that he's got something that he's earmarked you to do, he'll do it. But no one gets to decide that. Nobody. Okay. All right. I love you guys in Christ. Uh, I hope y'all have uh, just a nice day tomorrow. Uh, you know, I want to make sure you had a video for tomorrow. That's why I'm here right now, even though it's super late. Um, because I know the holidays are not always great for everybody. I had very difficult holidays myself. Uh, my wife was 27 when she died on December 15th and that was the, you know, the holidays and it was, it, the holidays weren't the same for me as other people. And I understand if you're one of those people like me and you were rejected by your family, you may be very alone, but remember, look at what the Lord's let you see and look at what the Lord's let you understand and look at the gift that God's given you. And the Bible says, whoever's left family, husbands, wives, children, left homes for me. Uh, I will give them a hundredfold and they'll have eternal life. Just remember that. It's Just go read your Bible. Whoever's left wives, children, homes for my sake, I'll give a hundredfold and eternal life. So see, we've all had to leave stuff behind because the world is the world. And if you're not of the world, you came into their world and maybe had a family and got trapped in the serpent's world and everything they do. We're not from here. We are not them. We, we were attached to them, but now we've been severed and made whole. We've been severed from them to sever completely and make whole. You get it? Okay. All right. I love you guys in Christ. I'm exhausted, guys. I love you. Just wanted to make sure I got to you guys. And guys, just the people that have stepped up to help this ministry, you have no idea because there's times when people can't go to the doctor and they need help. And there's times where I'm not sure I want to spend the money to go to a doctor. And the people that have helped the ministry and and just kept us going, God bless you. And I mean that. Thank you so much. You've helped a lot of people. All right. All right. Peace and grace, guys. Uh, again, I hope your day is at least nice. Spend it with the Lord. If you don't have you know, like earthly family to hang out with. Well, that's okay. You have the Lord and now you'll have a really long video where Jonathan won't shut up <laughs> now, but you will get the bear hug, cult hug, the, the, <laughs> so I love you in Christ. Mm. Okay. I love you in Christ. Johnny loves you. I care about you. Jesus loves you. Uh, and Jesus raised me up as an end time harbinger for you. Okay, guaranteed. So if you receive this, you just got to pay off bigger than all the cash in the world. Bigger, okay? All right, love you in Christ. Good night.